While I'm out exploring in Tennessee, picking up parts, we figured it'd be a good idea to stop at a junkyard. So we found this one. So let's go see what's inside. Well, unfortunately, Franzi is on one foot, so she cannot come in the yard, but that's all right. We will explore it. Have fun. I have a good feeling we're gonna find some great stuff in here. This yard is massive. I think this is actually the biggest junkyard I've ever been to. I was told all the import stuff was on this side, and since I'm an import guy, we're gonna start over there. But don't worry, we'll get to the muscle stuff. I heard there's some pretty cool muscle cars here. Oh, and there's also some lawnmowers and motorcycles. Whoa, I've never seen a motorcycle at a junkyard. Huh. Golf cart? What? All right, very first row. Let's see what we got. Mercedes, Jaguar, Beamer, E36. This thing ain't too bad. Manual? What? With the trans? Rust free. Ah, another car that could have been saved. This thing's pretty nice. Fun fact, I actually had an E36 four door for approximately one day. And it's black too. Kind of makes me want another one. If you guys know of a rust free E36 four door, let me know. It's gotta be black and manual. Ooh. I don't know much about BMWs, but this is pretty cool. I'm more of a Honda Nissan guy, but... Oh, tan interior. Can't do that. Seems nice though. Big car. Oh my gosh. What is all this stuff? Big springs and whatnot. Cams. This is a massive rod. 325i vert dang golf an SC I've never seen an SC in a junkyard mo road runners this is like the Lexus version of a Supra is this where the gas tank is on this it's in the car? I had no idea that was like that. Usually the fuel tank is under the car. So that's a Lexus floor mat. This one is pretty rusty though. Got the soft quarters. What? A Roadster? Okay, I have never seen a Porsche in a junkyard. Or I guess I have, but a modern Porsche? No. This would be cool to make into something. Pretty nasty in here though. But still a Porsche in the junkyard. Can only imagine what these would sell for. And then right next to this, we have a modded antenna. Signal amplifier. Someone commented a challenge on one of my videos and it was to find a Lexus GS without a dented fender. So here's one. Let's see if it has a dented fender. Yep. And... Oh! Got your beat. First try. Rust free. Man, I'm so used to seeing junkyards by me. The cars are up on stands. And the pickup trucks are just folded in half. But this is just amazing. Look at that. That's beautiful. Poor Toyota. <laughs> Jesus. Forerunner. Doing forerunner things. Now that's a big brake kit. And dang, and it's got four pots in the rear? I didn't even know these came with big brakes. Ooh, G35. Victoria. Oh, someone's been here. Not bad for the very first row of this junkyard. Moving along. Batman. This is sick. Goes hard, dude. Black vinyl on black paint. Oh, nice little galant. 
on a beamer. Look at this wing. What the heck? <laughs> is this a stock wing? Wait, this is not a Galant. Diamante. Okay, I have never seen this Mitsubishi before. Have you guys seen this before or am I just tripping? I don't know what style wheels these are for beamers, but I really like these. Can you believe this whole car is being held up by the splash shield here? Just kidding. LS400. Oh, that's a boat. VIP, baby. Oof, that is gross. Del Sol. Oh, rusty. I was about to snag these quarters. This is nice, though. Distributor in the trunk. Typical Honda things. Target top. Manual. What? Full swap. Another old Beamer. This is a cool looking green. This thing is like immaculate. Well, for being in a junkyard, this car is pretty nice. Same with the one next to it. That one's pretty cool too. It's got the key. Oh my God. Come on, man. So has the key. It's a cool looking key actually. Yep, that's the key. Oh, that's cool. New owner audio program. Mitsubishi. Is this an Eclipse Turbo? I can't tell if that's an OEM stamp or not. That's not. <laughs> GST? I guess we'll find out. Manual. Linkage is gone. Oh, it's still there. Oh, look at how rusty these pistons are. We'll cook some soup in here. Rust free quarters. It has broken a style choice. What is this blue little guy? This Miata? That was a good hit. Oh my gosh. The door overlaps the quarter. Probably manual. Yep. Rust free. It's so nice seeing rust free cars. Although not in a junkyard. What happened to this trunk? Look at how shifted it is. Another Miata. Tiny trunk. There's no space in here. It can barely fit a body. This thing's been stripped. Auto too. What do we got here? A little Sulka. Yep. Yeah. This thing's smashed up. Oh, this thing's really smashed up. Look at this little truck. This thing is nice. It's manual. 296k man look at how long this has been sitting the paint on the pencil is starting to come off this thing's sick no rust just surface rust of course little four banger another Mazda truck this is basically a Ranger another Civic oh yeah this is pretty tough oh it's foamy this is a pretty cool yard. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm only on like the fourth row and there's still... It's gonna be like an hour long video, isn't it? <laughs> Two 300ZX? I've never seen a Z31 300ZX in a junkyard. Look at that, man. Right next to each other too. It's a cool little wing. Oh, this one has the same wing. Man, these are cool cars. These are just so classy. Like, look at this dash. It's like stitched leather. The gauges. This is so cool. This is a cool cluster. What the heck? This is digital? That's amazing. And the key is still in it, too. Rest in peace. Another Eclipse. No turbo. Manual though. Rust free, but damaged of course. It's got the ricer tails. I've never seen this Hyundai before, but it looks like it's been sitting for quite some time. This red interior is honestly in really good shape. Have you guys seen this car before? I swear I've never seen one on the roads. 
Now these are some serious work trucks right here. Good old KA. Eh? Probably has the single can. Oh, V6. What is this? <laughs> Rock and roll. Signed by this guy. Holy moly. Manual? What? It's kind of random to see an old Nissan two-door manual. What is this thing? Sentra. Quite interesting. Wendy. <laughs> Wow, it's got the extendo wiper arm. These things are just so funny to me. This is like a Jeep, but a Miata. RX-8, what? On some chrome domes. Still has the motor. Little 13B rotary. Never seen one of these in a junkyard. Dang, this interior is still really nice. Other than the headliner, of course, but like overall, like there's no tears on the seats. I always thought it was so cool how these cars have tilted radiators from the factory. That's pretty sick. Whoa, what do you think happened to this car? What is all this? What the heck? Tan interior, that's what you use it for. This little old Toyota. I'm pretty sure this is a Camry. Wow. That is impressive. And that's more impressive. <laughs> it's not even at the right height. How would you see that? <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, look at that. Carbon fiber taillight. <laughs> I think it'd be fun to count how many Mustangs I find in here since this is down south and that's kind of like more of a southern thing I feel like. So this is the first one. Two, three. This one looks like it was burned. Fox body. Blue interior. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Smashed eighteen. Dang. 19. Ooh, got the drag set up. 20. 21. 22. There's been more Mustangs than Civics. Think about that for a second. <laughs> and while we're thinking about that, look at this. What? Straight out of 2000. It's actually a carbon fiber hood. Huh. Turbo. Was this turbo? Can't tell. Maybe that's just where the cat was. Manual. Got the little fancy shift knob, dude. Oh, it's got the rear bumper too. Oh, no way. A Ford 240SX. Which is really just a Ford probe. Front wheel drive. But they tried to copy the 240, I think. It's pretty close. Well, they tried. Same style, but poor execution. Manual too. Cool door handle. Yeah, it even says probe here where it says 240. Like, come on. Come on, we see what you're doing. Front wheel drive, you had one job. All right, these next few rows are just minivans and trucks and SUVs, which don't really interest me too much. So I'm going to keep moving along. Just all junk. This is the real junk. Oh, this is the real junk. Dirty Max. Nothing left of that one. Do the front ends just unbolt on these cars? That's pretty handy, actually. Dually. Oh, fiberglass broke on this side. That's some beefy fiberglass though, jeez. Camaro. Firebird. Just told to look at the sun visors. Ripped center console. Missing. And another one. So a whole bunch of these.
Oh my gosh. Carpet or grass? Or moss? <laughs> yep. None of these have center consoles. Dr. Pepper headlight. Look at how long this can has been sitting here. Let's, let's get the other side toasty now. <laughs> Dang, rust free? You never see these rust free. Could definitely use some of these parts to restore another one, that's for sure. Man, that's nice. T top glass over here? This is a straight car. Why is this in here? The pop up still. This is a massive hood. Oh my god. Gosh. Yep, full car. Just left to rot. More of these. These are pretty cool though. I wouldn't mind owning one of those. I'm not an American car guy, but those things are pretty sick. Camaro, Camaro, Camaro. There's more Camaros here than there are Civics. <laughs> Rust free, another one. Yeah, look at that. This thing was probably sick back in the 80s, that's for sure. These things are actually junk. Pretty sure they came with three cylinders too. Manual, rust free, <laughs> old vert version. Manual. Oh my gosh. Whoa, look at this. What year do you think this thing is? That's pretty cool. Big truck. Off duty, leave me alone. You know what? I'm sure you put your fair share of work in. You can be left alone. What happened to that? Jeez, did they survive? An old Dodge Dakota right next to it? Huh, with two wheels in the back? That's pretty interesting. Is this custom or something? Kind of looks like it. I wonder what that thing was. This could be an ice cream truck. You never know with these. Some more of these older work trucks. Oh, this is an old Coca-Cola truck, actually. Look at that, Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper. You go in this? Whoa. That's sick. Manual. Lodestar. Imagine if you needed to pull this engine. Oh, that'd be so horrible. <laughs> I'll stick to my Hondas and Nissans. Damn, these are massive. Holy crap. There's just a truck in the back of this. <laughs> Leaf springs in the front. Look at the suspension on this. This is massive. Another huge truck. I wonder why these got scrapped. Like, maybe body damage in the rear? Or maybe the engine blew up? I don't know. It just seems like a lot of metal just to be scrapped. Oh, now we're in a wasteland, that's for sure. Did not wear the right shoes for this. I was not expecting to come to a junkyard when I visited Tennessee. I also did not expect it to be cold, so I did not dress appropriately. But, you know what, we're going to tough it out because this is really fun. What the heck is this? In a box truck, we got some mystery electronics. Service documents enclosed. Why does that sound like so top secret? Enclosed. All right, who knows what this thing is? I have no idea. It's got lights in it. Is this a tanning bed? No way, I think this is a tanning bed. That's just one of those things that's like, I never thought I would find a tanning bed in a junkyard. If that's a tanning bed, I don't even know. But if it is, wild. 
<laughs> half cut old dump truck hmm. these things are just so big tubs baby got the shaved bay <laughs> metal fan this tiny little fan for this whole entire motor one belt things were so simple back then look at the motor mounts boop boop what happened exhaust goes through the front how about that that's pretty interesting things were so simple back then now there's like a million wires in a car what is this? This looks cool. A little flat face action. It's like stubby. It's like you stubbed your toe. But a pickup truck. Got semi trucks in here? Jesus. This is massive. Imagine swapping this into a 240 or something. <laughs> now the fans today are a little bit bigger. There's a little bit more wiring going on as well. Check out this truck. In the back of it, it looks like there was a workshop at one point. Whole bunch of scrap. Tankers? Oh. Wow. It's like pretty dangerous actually. What if these just rip off? Old school. Asphalt fuel oil. Hmm. I want to see what the front of that thing looks like. Oh my gosh. Can we see inside? Dang. This is how cold it is, by the way freezing my butt off out here the least you can do is drop a like on the video and comment to help me out but we are entering the classic section so this is where it's gonna get exciting I really hate to do it to you guys but I have to split this video in half second half is coming soon don't worry make sure you have your subscriber notifications on so you don't miss when it drops peace